Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. And here we have Ecuador against Colombia. I'm Peter Drury and this is Jim Beglin. Thanks, Peter. It's a pleasure and a privilege for me to be here. Supporters on all four sides rise for the national anthems. Then the lineups for this game. So it's away we go then. So Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Uh, it's got to be the Colombian, James Rodriguez. He's capable of award-winning goals, of course, but his game is mainly associated with playmaking, and he has the, the talent to, to place his passes exactly where a striker wants it. He's a class act. Yes, getting the best out of him will count for so much. It's a loose ball. Good distance on it. And the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Well, we were unlikely to see a goal then because there were so many players crowding out that danger area. I think something very special was going to be needed. Hit long and direct. Quadrado with the ball through. Looks to slip it through. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? In again. And the keeper's in command. Ecuador are still to get up and running after defeat on the opening day. Now's the chance to launch their season. Valencia. No efforts on target is acceptable if levels of enthusiasm and energy are good, and they're not. He slid it through. That's gone a long way up and away. Looks like a good ball through. And behind for a goal kick. It'll be a throw in. Valencia. He's done well to tidy up the situation. And it's Quadrado. Spoon forward. Tries a through ball. It's Backer. Looks to thread it through. Hit into the middle. Going for goal! Who's going to make this theirs? Oh, he's come 
flying in. There is the half-time whistle. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Well, the manager surely got to look for one or two creative changes now. They need some service up front. So they head in, no forward. So off we go once more. Well, the first half didn't really produce the goals we'd have liked. Hopefully they've been saved for the, the second. For that to be the case, though, we'll need to see more energy and invention early on. Carlos Baca has got himself a free kick. <laughs> Quadrado tries to stroke it through. Now the pass. Can he find a finish now? Danger averted for now. Oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The idea was good though, Peter, and I like the run that triggered the pass, but the quality was the problem. Tries to get it forward quickly. Well blocked, and back out it comes. James Rodriguez passes it through. Carlos Baca plays a clever pass. Decent ball. Aimed long and direct. James Rodriguez. Great strike, but the keeper's equal to it. He's done very well to get to that. Keeper has shown... Great concentration there, I think his anticipation pretty much did the trick for him. to get it away. Pumps it forwards. It's a good run down the left-hand side. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Oh, that's a foul, free kick's been given. has got rid of that. Plays it out to the wing. And the defence can get it clear. Out for a throw. It's a brilliant interception. And he's there to hoof it away. Have to tune his rangefinder before the next one. He's off on a marauding run. They've done it! Finally, the deadlock is broken. Valencia versus the keeper, and only one winner. Peter, I can tell you that was nothing short of a cold-blooded execution. Ecuador take what looks to be a decisive lead. Well, look, Peter, I feel I've got to stress that there's still time for another, so we can't be too presumptuous yet. 
official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. Ecuador just have to run down the clock. James Rodriguez gets it back. There is the final whistle. Ecuador, hold on. It's a narrow squeak, bit of luck, some judgment. 1-0 the score at the final whistle. Ecuador, leave it late, but in the end, 